I fear I put this in the video because I'm I'm really in my loss right now. I have been dealing with toxic one and it's wrath for the last year of my life. Plus annoyingly it wasn't until like April that I started smelling things to which no the apartment complex is doing everything they can to, to not take responsibility. They are pretty much making me feel like I'm crazy. So I literally left everything I own there. I've been staying between Airbnbs, my parents' house with my dog for the last three months until I found a place to move. Well, I found a place that was brand new. Yes, there's probably mold. There's mold everywhere. But it is the best option I've ever been, that I'm going to be able to find because no one's ever moved there. It's brand new construction. Do you have funny in there? Um, like, do you have masks? Why is he like that? Okay, super sorry about that. Um, literally in fucking in Lowe's. And so, yes, we need help. Yeah, I need help. So, um, uh, I've been dealing with this, and I still found this new apartment. I didn't listen to what I was Professionals told me that the best bet for me to get past this is to ditch everything. Everything. Um, who the hell honestly wants to do that? I'm in a position where I can't afford to do that. I work from home. My, it's pretty much my entire living situation is at home. My entire livelihood. I work from home. So I just, just get rid of all that stuff. Um, I don't, and I don't. I, I the process of filing a claim. I don't think I, I don't know how much they're gonna give me. I don't even know if they're gonna approve it. So, and I haven't worked because I've been so sick for three months. So I was, I waited out to get this apartment because I had to work. I literally just got my car to go to Walmart. The next door where I was going to go. I hit, I hit, really I've been hitting the fucking medians like when you turn. Like not hitting, it's probably not the correct word, but like not going around it fully. It's happening a lot lately. I thought I just really did a job on my car. Granted, I don't know what Founder side looks like, but I know that I didn't see any cosmetic damage. Woohoo! So I'm at Walmart right now. And um hold on a second. Okay, so back to I, I like to listen to people on Reddit here on Reddit that deal with this and that you know what's they do this for a living. Um, I don't know if I doubted myself and maybe I was exaggerating because everyone here I have yet to have somebody that I'm dealing with here, whether it's the apartment complex, the mold inspector, nobody believes me. Literally, I mean I can't afford to hire anybody else, which is why I'm moving and thinking I could start over and just get out of that toxic mold environment. So I didn't want to have to move. I did not. This has been so stressful for me because I had to go pack the house that the power got turned off because I was moving, but I stopped from staying there. So I just turned the entire power off. So it's hot and dark at night, but I had a whole house to pack, a whole apartment to pack. So, so without like getting into any details, so this week when I, I was over there every day at my old apartment, my mom has never made it a point to come there for and stay for any amount of time. She helped me Wednesday or Thursday from 6.30 in the morning until like 11 o'clock that night. <clears throat> uh, my mom is older. She does smoke cigarettes. Um, I, don't, I don't think she truly believes everything that's going on because nobody can vouch for it. Even the people, the professionals that I paid for twice to come and professionally test didn't find anything. <sighs> the apartment complex is offering zero help because they visually they're like we don't they are the company that we sold them 30 years ago in the ducks we don't see nothing. I said how can you see what's going on in the ducks if you're physically outside they didn't even take their air register. How can they see what's going on inside the air ducts when they you never so much as took the air dressers off. Ever. I did that after we left because I, at this point, I'm desperate. I just researched on YouTube, like, 
what I would be looking for, and I literally got into the closet where all the HVAC is, tried taking things apart, and I noticed the standing water in the bottom of the drink can that absolutely shouldn't be there. So, <clears throat> this was months ago, um, whatever the situation is, but the HVAC company never did any extensive um, uh, inspecting of the anything more than just visually of the outside of the air vents and whatever the outside the condenser they I they went outside to look at that they do outside the bare minimum and <laughs> let's face it people just don't want to work they fucking okay now I'm not stupid and a lot of people are they would say okay well we hire professionals more than one and nobody's finding anything so maybe there's no problem and no matter how sick they get or whatever, they just, we trust professionals when they are hired to do something that we pay them for, at least I do. The mold inspection guy, I don't think he is in cahoots with the apartment complex because it's actually ended up being some lead friend that I used to date. And like he, he was like, he was offering his downstairs of his house for me to get out of there. I didn't take it because one, is not the best neighborhood, and two, it wasn't big enough, and three, I didn't want to have him twice. I have three dogs, <laughs> but I don't think funny any that he had nefarious but I just think he's inexperienced he's young that doesn't say anything but I didn't I didn't know that I don't I don't know what the licensing is and whatever I just went with the first thing I saw on some back and so and I went with so fast forward to the two times that I I did the first time because I thought that I thought it was coming from a leaky dishwasher that ended your place before that's the day this smell started so he tested the floor like I asked him to. It comes up with nothing. Changed the floor, the smell got worse. <laughs> so I, you know, my people just asking people here, just what could it be? I know nothing. So I said, you know what, my head turned, just started using my air conditioning. And <clears throat> by just a series of events, I established that the smell was only happening when I was using the HVAC. So that told me that the HVAC was honestly the issue. Um, so testing the floor was relevant. So I, I, I was in contact with him and I said, listen, this is, um, I think it might be the, the, um, the HVAC, which is obviously it's surface, but no, it's like my. So he said, well, I can come out and test it again. I can test the HVAC, the air, air single, whatever. It's just gonna cost again. And at this point, I'm I'm 98% positive that there is an, a mold issue in my apartment because the smell is not permeating the entire thing. My heating bills over the winter were astronomical. I was dating a guy that lived in two buildings down with the exact same apartment. So I saw his bills because I, I was helping him file for unemployment and I had to send him out. So he had me open his bills one day, his nine mold bills. They were a third of what mine were. And with the exact same apartment, his apartment over the window was warm. It was because I'm like, get hot here. I could, I was lucky if I broke, if I only wore two layers instead of three. And his bill was mm, 250, almost 600. So, and my emergency heat was on the entire time. I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, I don't, and I, can I say 6,000? I mean, mine was 600 for one month. February was really bad. I don't know if the heating and cooling have, Related, they come from the same. I don't know, but so when the air conditioning, air conditioning time hits, I started using it in April because my dogs are hot. And not a week later, I start smelling. Well, okay, so fast forward now two months, I'm on this hiring site again because the apartment complex there now he's in contact with them and he's, he's telling them he wants to test another area. And they, their words were, tell her to pay for it and we'll reimburse her. I'm like, oh, I'm broke, bitch, like, but I, I didn't have a choice, and he said, it's probably better that way, because you know what, if you pay for them, those are your results, and I legally cannot give them to her, and at the time, we were formulating a court case, I was beginning to, because I was now being grossly ne neglected by an apartment I'm paying for, and I'm not even living at it, because it's that bad, so, I forgot, I just, I forgot, I didn't where I left off. Wow, this is terrible. <laughs> so, I was not. Like, literally, they were, every which way around the sun, were trying to not be responsible for anything. 
It won't let me out of my lease. I just resigned another lease right before this. And I that's not good enough for me because now I'm missed work for three months. My I know my stuff's got to stink. And I have to move. And I, I'm gonna probably have to pay more rent. And I said, the fuck out of here. Leave. I'm not gonna agreeing to nothing. So because I couldn't find a place to go. So I know once she puts in the writing, it's pretty much a contract. Mm. So I just ignored her. You know, I was courting her to live there. I had an insane room. There was no possible way my power turned off. And when it why you have it on it the air conditioning was making us ear dogs very very sick so he gets the results back from test number two and so he gets the test back and to everybody's surprise well like mine and his i to be honest i never actually looked at the results i read what he wrote in that email and it was I don't have any answers for you because what I felt and what these results show from your apartment, they don't match up. I felt like crap because I was there for a couple hours. He's like, I thought for sure this would come up with some kind of findings. He said, I never even know this, so I don't even know what it came up with, but I know. He's like, you're going to have a hard time sitting for it. I haven't spoken to him since that fucking pissed me off. What the reason? It just aggravated me. Um, I was not aware until re- very recently that. People that don't have all ex- much experience, it's literally a class you have to take. It's not like this extensive like class. It, well, I mean, I guess. But as far as I know, certified means certified. I probably could skip a lot of this, but I feel like it's relevant for my own sake. But I have no idea what that. So he's, you know, the results show next to nothing. And he's like, I'm stumped. I really don't know what to say. So this is going to go out court. So I decided that I would not give the office the results. Never mind, I gave them. Because, for whatever reason, they're not the results that one, I wanted. <laughs> and two, honest. So, I don't owe the office anything. I can pay for them. They're mine. Oh my god. So, she asked me for them, and I just kept ducking her. And I'm looking for a new place. Well, I finally found that new place. The beginning of August. And um, I couldn't get in there until the 24th, which was two days ago. So I need to get back to the point of this video. Um, I've been reaching out to multiple places for help. Here on Reddit, it's a couple of different subs. And literally, asking people that are professional that deal with this on a regular everyday basis and I spoke with a few and every single one that I call or call that I am in contact with and people that have been through this like experience everybody said to take their word and get rid of everything else anything that can be washed chuck it pretty much start over get out of there and start over that just sounds depressing. I, that's nothing I ever in my life wish upon anybody. So I'm like, you know, in the back of my head, I'm fighting it because I have everybody in my world, my life, thinking I'm crazy. Or, and I didn't know, I don't know. And you know, I mean, like, I hair, I love my body. I love my hair the way it is. I just love the things that are there. Um, hair's a little dry, but, um, I curl every so often, I don't straighten every day, but I was, I probably could take better care of it and get some farther with this growth, but I'm not, I don't know, so whatever, so I made plans to show last night, which was Saturday, and I'm kind of a little one last night, but um, I had trouble with my other bouncer because he absolutely robbed me the leg around the show, and that's a done deal. So I went with the third person, same person that was the first two. So that was me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna place my keys. I literally. Well, literally. I'm in Walmart. Cruising the aisles telling my story. I. Um. Tanner just fell asleep walking. And when I still talking and holding the camera, I just went back and watched that session of video. I 
don't make any sense. I'm not talking about what I've been talking about. I'm talking about my hair and how it's dry and how I had to work last night, which I did, and moved a bunch of things until I finally established I lost my keys while being here. Kind of woke me up for a second and it just went back and watched what I said. Eggs under my eyes. I have not slept good sleep in four months. But the last four days have been so taxing. I had to pack my stuff and get out of there. And I have a lot of stuff. A lot of sentimental stuff. A lot of work stuff. A lot of things I really can't get rid of. Damn, for someone who's tired, I sure am talking about a lot of real shit. I'm literally in my own world. Things are blurry. I probably shouldn't be driving, but I'm in a position where I have to. So, I don't know where I left off. I'm just going to guess and say that. I really have no idea what I thought. This is, this is really bad. Yeah, I really got it. I really don't. What the fuck? So, that brings us to here. Um, I took this advice. And I was at, I, I was in the middle of filing this insurance claim with photos. Um, I don't have photos or anything. I don't have receipts or anything, but I have, I have to try to call with something. So I was literally moved in this morning. It well, started yesterday. I started to um, take the, I, put, I tried to zip up these big bags of clothes, but the zip up was really shitty. So I ended up just like closing the top. But I figured I'll start the clothes first. I'll wash my clothes, my clothes, and dry them on hot before doing anything. That's been so tedious. I've been doing that for two days. But I, I'm seemingly okay. Last night I started to feel a slight test, chest tightness. I okay, so forward to there. I moved in the last course of the last couple days, but at the same time I was back to the old complex apartment to pack and move. Everything. My mom helped me one day. She had never spent, spent any such a amount of time there. But we spent a lot of time there. I don't think it was Wednesday or Thursday. When we left, my mom couldn't even open her eyes. I had to pull her cover, and she does not let me drive her car, so she could not see. So she, we almost ended up the ER with the pain was that bad. So, I mean, it was okay the next day when she, when she was home and awake, but the only explanation it could have been was my apartment. So, I did not listen to anybody when they told me to get rid of everything before you move, get rid of everything. I thought I knew what the hell I'm doing and I could kind of go through my stuff and decide what I wanted. So, it is taking me a good, after I hired movers for $500, on Wednesday, they got the big stuff, but I wasn't fucking ready. I was not ready. I thought it was. It that usually is different when you actually start from there. And I had to do it at night. No lights, but my flashlight and no power. So it's fucking hot. And I'm terrified of not the dark, but anything else in the dark. Looks angry. But I uh, so when I showed up on Wednesday to meet the worst, I was disappointed in myself. <laughs> I still had so much to pack, but I started packing, but, and they did, you know, what I was ready for that it, overall three hours, but I still I had a lot of shit. So the next day, I spent all day getting rid of, not getting rid of, moving things that movers did not get a chance to. So my original idea was to keep everything in right in the door of the, of the apartment. Everything in its bags, especially like clothing, furniture still wrapped, everything in. I had to get out of my apartment, so I literally had to do an order that. So I had ordered myself to put, my idea was to put everything in my living room and dispose of it like nicely. Thanks, so please. I figured if I don't fuck with it, if I don't, you know what I'm saying? It, and I think this all could be totally in my head, and I'm really, I was almost convinced of myself that I was, that I was, that I was exaggerating. I have no proof 
proof from anybody here that what I'm saying is true. The mold inspector, ever, nobody. things sometimes I'll catch like a sale out like a business sale but things plain t-shirts plain new t-shirts all different kinds the inventory is my house I don't have an office and I just got this company off the ground has it been really successful no but I have supplemented it with a different income no, I'm well aware of that I cannot sell a t-shirt that's been washed as new I cannot sell a new t-shirt with eggs but possibly be contaminated by mold. So what do I do? So I bring them to my house in like the zipper bags and I have to make, I have to include all this stuff in my claim that I'm going to filing tomorrow. I have been searching for what exactly I have to claim because once you make a claim you cannot add on it. You are like, I want to get everything. I don't want to go backtrack because you know what? I just, this is completely legit claim and it not only fucked with me but my like livelihood like i spent thousands in, in inventory to just throw away that's not fair to me it's this is by no fault of my own i tried to work with you at farm comics but it's pure negligence because this started in march and it's fucking september almost and if i didn't live there i would still be if i didn't stay there i would still be living in these conditions because they're doing everything they can everything they can to just um hope eventually i give up uh <laughs> I don't I'm not giving up this is absolutely detrimental and to my knowledge this is what runner's insurance is for I've never used it before but they've required it to have it at this apartment and I actually I actually felt a little when I got it um and actually the apartment folks had asked me a couple months ago which is crazy because this is say, you would say a couple months ago about my runner's insurance I bet you they were one trying to call me out on it, the fact that we were actually supposed to have it and if I didn't or two think that I'm trying to pull a fast money and just get money out of them when I want my stuff replaced I want my time from work replaced I want I want my vet bills replaced this all and I blew I had $10,000 in savings and my Airbnbs replaced and pain and suffering I haven't I can't afford to go to the doctor I know already that the doctor is going to do nothing for me so I don't have the money and I definitely don't have the time so I have done everything but taking myself to the doctor because I am my last concern. I can breathe. And that's where I have to say the story ends. So today, I, since late last night, I had been literally just taking all these and bringing shirts out of the packages, but just filling them in some random piles to take a photograph of one whole thing because there's 150 shirts easy. Um, just separating them kind of by color. I... I Early in the day, I felt a tightness in my chest, a slight tightness. I could not take a deep breath, and I, you know, I, I know that my stuff probably has a little bit of contamination, so I was like, okay, let me just do, get this over with. Um, so, four or five hours into the day, I, I still, I go back to doing that, and within the next five minutes, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was between throwing clothes in the laundry that I was that are my clothes that were uh, salvageable, I guess, and putting piles of these. Um... So my friend Matt was has been helping me. He was um, over and like he's been aware of the situation. So anyways, it hits me like a ton of bricks. I feel my chest tighten up. I feel my breathing begin to get labored. I. I could not take a, any kind of lengthy breath. I was like, and I, I started to panic because that alone, even during this entire year that I lived there, I've never had a shortness of breath. I had a host of other things, but um, I had a lot of other things, but that was not one of them. And that was the most, I could not control that. That was one of the scariest three things I've ever dealt with in my life. I was not prepared for that. And the more I panicked, it felt like the smaller the hole was getting. And I was losing the ability to talk like to the person that's in the house or to my dogs and I'm still surrounded in this 
brand new apartment just moved in brand new surrounded by my stuff everywhere because i had not i didn't get to sorting anything yet so that brings me where i am right now i freaked out i was not ready for that i did not i definitely didn't it, it came on so quickly but i i, I didn't know Matt was kind of understanding. I was telling him kind of what was going on, but I, he was not. He was not. I don't think he was honestly understanding the spirit of it. Because he was making no moves to do anything. And I, he's like, well, let's go to the hospital. I was like, I, I'm not leaving my dogs here. Are you fucking kidding me? He's like, but you need to take care of you. My dogs are me. And my, unfortunately, I have three dogs that don't get along. So we would have, I, I was like, can you please just take one and I'll take two or vice versa and I'll meet you outside. And I had to bring the crate for from the car. But I got outside and realized that it's pretty really warm outside. My air conditioning makes shit to bed. So I cannot drive with these dogs in my car. I have four dogs, but overheat. So I pulled into the gas station next to my house because I needed also need to get gas. And I called my mom. Eventually she answered. I have chocolate milk. <laughs> and we just. So my mom meets me next door at the phone just because I said, I have clothes going on. So you need to come to these dogs. I need to go in the room. room. I cannot leave them and their mom, and she was about 25 minutes away. She was there in less than 20 minutes. Um, after she just got done earlier saying that she just cleaned her house from the dogs, pretty much destroying it because they're dogs. So as soon as I fucked outside, I felt better. Not completely better, but about 67%. I didn't feel like I was gonna die. <sighs> I'm full of blown tears. The people at the gas station, I that was crazy. My neighbors, I just moved in here. It was a show earlier, it was a show. I was scared, I was crying, I was screaming. My friend just sat there, he really didn't help me, he didn't do anything. Uh, this is not a good place to start. But, this is where I'm at right now. I, my mom's got the dogs. I am entering my apartment with this baby. So, um, what I'm going to do right now is, uh, the shirts in question, I think in question, they're on two metal racks. Um, I'm absolutely not going to move the shirts. I, I bought some drop gloves, this, and some huge trash bags. I am just going to cover the whole entire rack, secure it with some little rubber band or something, and bring everything on those two racks out to the garbage and dump them. Probably the racks too. I am. I'm shaking. I am with all the windows. Turn on the air dehumidifier and the air purifier. Turn off the air conditioning um, and come back tomorrow morning and call code. I have not slept but one hour and three days. I'm like, I was just walking around Walmart, talking, like half asleep, talking to you people about my hair. I just really wish that I wasn't alone. Um, Right now, my dogs are safe for the evening. I'm going to, after I get this done, it shouldn't take long, but I can get myself to get in there. I'm just really not easy, I'm scared. I'm really confused. I'm, this has taken, this has been the most detrimental thing I've had to deal with, and I've had to deal with quite a few things. Um, it just seems to be getting worse. Nobody wants to take accountability. Well, it's going, it's, it's going to explode, but no, no one can just continue to add, 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 and just not explode. I'm trying to be quiet because I've just seen earlier, it was not good, and I, I freaked out. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I just moved in three days old, I probably like this shit. Literally, I had no ill intentions. not to really breathe with this even with this mask on as i'm not 100 percent sure what is what i just know that this stuff over here is where i was most of yesterday and most of today along with over here but these clothes are i had 
to I'm trying not to breathe too much along with this mask because I don't um I'm not 100% positive that it's coming from here. I can just say that I was sorting these clothes. Oh, that's right. <laughs> these clothes yesterday and into today when this all happened, but it literally could be anything or everything in here. I don't want to freak out. I don't want to freak out. So my dog was, I'm not, I'm going to open this window and I'm going to open these windows for my uh, lawyer's request that we air it out as much as possible, which is not a bad idea. So this place has quite a few windows. I'm going to open them all, turn the air conditioning off. If I can get it, oh my gosh. How the heck do you open this window? Oh my goodness. I mean, if I can, hold on. There's one. Oh God, it's hot out, but I'm gonna turn off the AC. I'm afraid to. T I really, I mean, I did bring this stuff in, some of it this morning, like this stuff here. I actually don't know where the fucking thing, where the problem is coming from. So this is, um, this is, this is a trivial. I, I don't know where this, I don't know where it's coming from. I already fell. Um, so, literally, I did my last couple of runs to my apartment this morning to pick up tiny things that had been, what the fuck, that had been left. But I didn't feel like this until I was already home for hours. And, and I started digging into things, getting into things. So, I, I don't know if this, now I'm thinking, about, I don't know if the t-shirts are the actual problem. Um, but I'm going to get rid of them anyway because I am not taking that chance. I have this fucking mask on my face. I'm breathing very little. I don't know how much these actually really work. Okay. So now I'm thinking, right? This over here, I oh, I started doing yesterday and I did not feel, I throw, would throw things directly into the washer and dryer. I did load after load after load. These things can't be washed. These have been here since yesterday. Um, this stuff in here is either top of his clean. The shoes, those were here for a couple days. Um, this is a mess. This right here is where I was when I started to fucking feel really bad. These clothes were just taken out of the dryer and folded. I was in the process of obviously doing that when that happened. Um, actually feel it coming on again right now. This is pretty fucking wild. Um, but you know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna freak the fuck out because it's not gonna solve anything. I need to do what I need to do what I think is right. So my question is, I did the last couple runs this morning, um, which stuff scattered around what, this is what I shouldn't have done any of this. I should have listened to what was told to me. I literally am looking at what I brought here today because this all started, the respiratory things started this morning. Um, so the stuff that had been here prior to this morning, I don't think is contaminated overly bad, which would be my couch. I don't know how this works, but the only things that were added today were this box here from upstairs in my house, I think. You know what? My stuff from, okay, like this. This was added. This was in a closet right by the front door that I suspected be to be a bad problem. I also brought, this stuff has been with me. This whole little thing right here has been with me wherever I went. It has not been in my apartment in a long time. I brought this today, which sat next to on, on, it sat on the floor right in front of my kitchen and right in front of the HVAC room for the last couple of weeks. Um, let me see what's going on in here. I'm, I'm fucking seeing things because I haven't slept. What the fuck is that? That is, what is that? Damn, there's nothing fucking there. This is my TV. That's, I just brought that here yesterday. Nothing in here has changed. This is where I've been sleeping on this air mattress that was never there. I set this computer up a couple days ago. I woke up, tiny bit of a like, dry throat, but it went away instantly. This stuff has been here, I think. Yeah, since yesterday, I mean, which doesn't seem a long time. But when did I open this window? 
Fun part is this window. How the hell? This is where I've been. Me and two of the dogs have been staying. Um, I don't know. I don't really think this is the problem. I really honestly don't know, but <clears throat> right now my throat's getting super scratchy. I don't know how to decipher what's what, but why? How? Who opened this goddamn window? I have not been in this room, but to grab the dogs and get the fuck out of here. I did not open the windows unless my friend did when he came back upstairs to get my purse for me or something. But why would he open this of all windows? He wouldn't open the other windows or the ones that are in the central part of the house? I'm legit losing it. I have to come up with work. I don't have to do anything, but how the hell does one decipher where the most problematic areas are? Because right now I'm wearing this mask. I haven't changed anything here in fucking three days. So I don't think that, but I'm questioning is the stuff that I brought here today. And another fun fact is most of the stuff I picked, I brought today is still in the motherfucking hallway. Because um, I wanted to go through it before I actually went and fucking opened anything and did what I exactly am doing right now. So I brought this all here today. These, they're poster boards, they're upstairs in my office. Um, whatever's in this box, that came from today. This computer was there till today. This dust buster was there till today. This was there till today. Um, these were here there till today. This chair. I, like I said, I'm guessing it's coming from a more of a porister at this. Um, that stuff's pretty much all outside in the hallway because I wanted to go through it before just jumping in here. So what here is porous that came in today? That's going to answer my question. This stuff it came in yesterday. I started this yesterday, but what the fuck is that? So I came here with the intention of getting rid of the... This stuff over here because I, I can't wash it. It's no good to me. I just, and I'm like, if that's the problem, let's get rid of it. I don't give a fuck how much money I've spent in this. I'll handle that after I just, but now I'm thinking, I'm not exactly sure where the culprit lies. How do I figure that out? How, how does one, because before I drag these things outside, I want to be sure I'm not wasting my time and my money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to do all that and touch the things and do any of this unless I'm, unless it's for my problem, my immediate problem is life. So I don't know how to go about that. Oh, man, I don't know. Fuck, so I, I'm, like, lost here. I'm, like, literally so fucking, what do I do? I trash everything, don't I?